President-elect Trump also addressed workers at the carrier factory in Indiana, where, thanks to him, those workers will remain on the job, at least a thousand of them. Mm. Our next guest is Republican Congressman from Buffalo, New York. Uh, Congressman, welcome back. Chris Collins. Oh, always good to be with you, Stuart. Now, will Mr. Trump be able to do for Buffalo what he did with carrier in Indianapolis? Do they have plans for this? Well, I mean, the carrier was a unique situation where that company was moving jobs uh, to Mexico. Unfortunately, in western New York, most of the jobs have already left. But what Mr. Trump's, uh, President Trump's going to be able to do to improve the economic climate in the U U.S., make sure we have fair trade, uh, especially when it comes to Mexico and China, is bring those jobs back. There's still many workers uh, that would love to be back in the jobs that they used to have when it was the heyday of western New York. Uh, carrier, though, was jobs getting ready to leave. Uh, pretty much in western New York, they've already left. Now, you backed Donald Trump right from the get-go. I think I you sure were did. the <laughs> first. I think you told us I on was. our program, you were the very, very first. Do you think, I mean, you've got to believe that he can bring jobs back to your area. But it's, no question. But how is he going to do that? I mean, th those jobs are long, long gone. Which jobs will come back? Well, they may be gone, but when you uh, look at our landscape, we actually still have a lot of the uh, uh, buildings still standing. There may not be much going on. So the real estate is there. We have a, a very skilled workforce still there. And it comes back, Stuart, to uh, if we do fundamental tax reform, uh, that makes it more advantageous for companies to be here. But I do think at the end, we're going to have to look at some kind of tariffs against China and Mexico to level the playing field. Most companies would rather be back in the U.S. We have a very hard-working, uh, dedicated workforce, but it's just you can't offset a 35 percent cost disadvantage. And I, I think it's going to come down to some level of uh, tariffs to level the playing field. Well, the CEO of United Technologies, the parent company of Carrier, went to Trump Tower recently and had a direct meeting with Donald Trump about keeping those jobs at Carrier in Indianapolis. Do you know if there have been any similar feelers from CEOs of companies in your area, the Buffalo area, with Mr. Trump? Any kind of feelers have gone out already that you know of? I, again, I don't know of any because, again, unfortunately the jobs have left western New York, but I do think uh, we, we've got a lot of industries. We're right there on the border with Canada. There's a lot of automotive uh, parts manufacturing that could certainly come back in a heartbeat, especially if the companies that are moving jobs or have already moved jobs to uh, Mexico in particular relative to our area understand that uh, if they're going to bring those parts back, there's a tax, a tariff, something of uh, that sort coming back. They might as well move the jobs back, uh, you know, right closer to uh, where the cars are being made, the engines are being made. So I'm very optimistic we're going to see an economic, uh, a lot of economic growth in western New York in the Buffalo area once uh, President-elect Trump takes okay. office and we deal with uh, some of these unfair trade issues. Well, you're very much in the hot seat now. People want results. That's right. You got you it. You got it. We'll deliver. <laughs> yeah, okay, Congressman Chris Collins. You, you hold first. me to it. I, I know. <laughs> You'll come back real soon. I hope you do. Chris Collins, thank okay, you. Okay, thanks, Stuart.